We just had maybe the craziest trade of the NFL offseason so far. Chiefs wide receiver Tyree Kill is heading to South Beach to go play with the Miami Dolphins in exchange for five draft picks, including a first rounder this year. A lot of people talking about what this means for the Dolphins. Now they have Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle. But I want to flip the script a little bit. Talk about what this means for the Kansas City Chiefs. They now lack a wide receiver one. They have Juju Smith-Schuster. They have Michael Hardman, but that's about it. I want to tie this to the NFL draft and see what, what direction the Chiefs can go with if they want to replace Tyree Kill, but first, I want you to subscribe to all TWSN social medias Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We had so much content with this NFL offseason. The draft is coming up in about a month from now. A lot of great stuff there videos, content, articles, all exclusive on TWSN. Go check it out. And now let's break down what the Chiefs might do replacing Tyree Kill. If the Chiefs want to recreate Tyree Kill in their offense, their best bet is probably going with Alabama wide receiver Jamison Williams. Williams has incredible speed as we saw on display all season long. He runs very strong routes in the middle of the field. Some of the Chiefs use a lot of Tyree Kill in his time there. Obviously, Williams doesn't have the 4-2 Tyreek speed, but he's about 4-5 to five inches taller and 8 years younger than Hill. He has a lot more length and a bigger build that puts him in a great spot to break tackles. Similar to Tyreek, Williams has excellent change of direction speed this play in the first half of the sec championship against the university of georgia shows it all on full display the issue with taking williams is his injury williams tore his acl in the first half of the national championship game against georgia he's expected to come back early in the 2022 season but not everyone comes back the same from knee injury so there is some risk there overall in terms of a deep threat he's probably the best in the draft when it comes to the long ball i think he'd have an instant impact with kansas city the next option the Chiefs would have was likely moving up and getting wide receiver Drake London from USC. They would have a lot more draft capital now if they want to go up to the top 15 and make a move for London. He's a different type of receiver than Tyreek and honestly he might be a really good fit for Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes has never had that true jump ball type of receiver outside of like Demarcus Robinson I guess. Not only is London long and physical but he has lots of speed too. He's 6 foot 5 inches tall, 210 pounds. He'd be very unique in this type of Chiefs offense. He, his ball tracking skill is borderline elite, especially for a college wide receiver. He obviously does not have the barn burning Tyreek speed, but London has the ability to get open and, and he can open up that Chiefs offense in a different way. He's much more of an outside wide receiver. He can open up the space inside for tight end Travis Kelsey. Overall, I'd love to see the Chiefs go in this direction. I think it could be very appealing for him. The next thing I want to bring up is Ohio State wide receiver Chris Olave. Olave is a more explosive, big play fit for Kansas City. Ohio State the last couple of years have gone heavy shotgun pass offense, and Olave has been the key to their system. Lots of over-the-top plays from him is something that would be not new to Kansas City's offense. He's an exceptional route runner who reads the field very well, especially gets open like we see so many times in these highlights. Here in a 4-3-9 40-yard dash, the seventh fastest at this year's combine. His route tree would have to adapt a little more to the Chiefs' scheme. He would need to see some more underneath routes like what Tyree Kill did a lot of. But overall, I think they can get very creative with him. And I think Olave would be a great fit in Kansas City. If you're looking for the most fun replacement for Tyree Kill and a name that the Chiefs wouldn't really have to go with in the first round, they could wait for the 50th overall pick, the one they got from Miami earlier today. The name to watch out for is Calvin Austin III. He's basically like if you put Tyree Kill in a lab and made another version of him, that's Calvin Austin III. He's a track star, all-American track runner at Memphis. He was the only reason I would watch any Memphis football last year. He doesn't have the size of, you know, a Drake London or a Traylon Burks or an Olave or someone like that. He's only what like five foot eight, five foot nine, but just watch his highlights. His speed shows itself. It's like watching Tyreek. He returns punts, jet sweeps, great route runner. If you want the most fun Tyreek Hill replacement, this is him. I would love to see Calvin Austin in a Kansas City uniform next season. Lastly, Sky Moore from Western Michigan is a name I think I have to throw out. I know plenty of people became high on him after his incredible combine performance. Moore's also sort of an undersized, just 5'10 receiver, but he has sort of a wide frame. He played a lot on the outside for Western Michigan. I could see the Chiefs moving him to more of an inside receiver like how they used Tyreek Hill. He has speed that creates separation, and they likely wouldn't have to use a first-round pick on him. This seems like a guy the Chiefs can turn into a household name because of his speed and the way they can use him. Uh, I think Sky Moore would be an excellent fit with the Kansas City Chiefs.
The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little PFF mock draft, the first three rounds with the Kansas City Chiefs. Talking about what we've already discussed, which wide receiver could be a great fit. We have the 29th pick, 30, 50, 62, and then we'll do 94 before we head to the fourth round. We'll end this thing up. We'll see if we want to trade up our wide receiver or possibly see which one could possibly fall to the 29, 30 range. So I'm going to start it and I want to pause it at around. Has any receiver gone in the first seven? No. So around 15, 16, I want to see which wide receivers are gone. So now there's 14. Garrett Wilson, Drake London are off the board. Let's see what we can offer Baltimore for the 14th pick to possibly go get Jamison Williams. Uh, 14 will offer them 29. And let's see if they want to say 60. 60 and 29 for 14. They declined it. So maybe we'll throw in 103 in there also. And there we go. 14th pick overall. A lot of good players. George Karloff, this is really good. Nicobe Dean, I love a lot. But you got to go Jamison Williams for the Kansas City Chiefs. They move up, but they still have that 30th pick they required. They acquired the 29. Now they have 30, obviously, their own. And then they can go get a defensive back, Kair Elam from Florida. I'm going to go here. Now we have the second round pick, 50 they acquired from Miami. They can go Leo Chanel, the linebacker from Wisconsin, is really athletic. Uh, can add to that linebacker group. They got Nick Bolton last in the second round. They can go get the guy from Oklahoma. Interesting here. A lot of different directions the Chiefs can go in. I'm going to go with Edge. I'm going to go Nick Benito from Oklahoma. Chiefs continue to add depth in that defensive line. Now we go to the third round. Do we trade that pick? Nope, we still have it. 94 overall. We are going to take Brian Cook, the safety from Cincinnati, uh, right around his average ADP. The Chiefs, they lost Teron Matthew. We know they just made a sign in for agency, the guy from the Houston Texans, uh, Murray, their safety. Uh, I think Brian Cook adds some depth there. They lost Daniel Sorensen. Brian Cook is their guy. And, yep, that's about it. They grade our draft. You know, we got – we got these three guys. We've got three A picks, so I'm not really sure. Oh, I guess that, that trade was a D. But we got Jameson Williams, Kair Elam, Nick Benito, edge guy, corner receiver, filling all the Chiefs needs and getting that wide receiver one replacement. The first guy we talked about, Jameson Williams, then you add a little depth in the second. Oh, there you go. There's the draft grade. And A minus did pretty well with the Kansas City Chiefs. So there is your Chiefs Tyreek Hill replacement, your Tyreek Hill trade possibility, and what the Chiefs are looking forward to for this 2022 season. We'll see you next time on TWSN YouTube.